Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Frame Rate Podcast. I am your host today, Juby Scott Gaming, and we have a special episode for you guys today. It is the season one finale. We finally Let's fucking go. did it. Yeah. yeah. Let's okay. fucking go. As James's mic cuts out. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we uh, we originally started this podcast as the Morgan Jude Show. Thank fucking God we got rid of that name in case anything happens. Um, but we recorded our first episode on June 6, 2020. And then we recorded episode two, June 14th. And then fucking episode three, fucking a whole ass year later on April 10, 2021. And we've been going every week ever since. And honestly, it feels good that we finally fucking did it. Um, season two will not take that long to get done. But we finally fucking did it. And I'm fucking happy. Let's fucking go, man. It's a fucking Let's party. Let's go. I'm drunk. Don't be drunk. <laughs> so, for <today's>, uh, <laughs> so for today's episode, we're going to just uh, we're going to be pretty lenient today. We're just uh, we're happy that it's over and we're excited for what's going to happen for next season and all that good jazz. With me today is obviously James, who has been in every episode except for one and two. Jester, I who's I been... didn't have the option of being in one and two. Yeah. <laughs> we started doing that before you came to the Discord, I believe. Or you were here. You just weren't. You were just another user, I believe. <laughs> yeah, you guys didn't like me as much. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> then we have Jester over here, who's fine. Hey, who's been in here the majority of episodes, even though he's been voted out to like never be here ever again by this uh, comment on YouTube called Lowell's It's Jester. I think isn't James the one that's been in more episodes than me? I think there's besides I said you. You've been in majority. I did not say more. Majority. Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, Unless James I did. Still Someone gets tell me. <laughs> James uh, gets to hold that mantle. <laughs> and then we have a new guest for the season finale, uh, Mister Glubby Cheese Shaming, also known as Briss Manson. Wait, this isn't the first episode. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Yeah, sorry to tell you now, but uh, this is the last one. You're never allowed back. Yeah, yeah you're never you going back. Allowed. Sorry. We're done after. Well, I'm gonna make the abridged version of season two, where it's just me talking to myself. <laughs> what is it? The the only fans that I promise my fans. I'm just talking to myself. Oh no, yeah, it's just gonna be pictures of fans. Like, like only fans, fans, but I upload the podcast. That have all fallen on me and <laughs> given me head injuries, which is a true story, by the way. We can talk about that later. I retire, and uh, Glovey takes over everything. Uh, yeah, that just ruins everything. <laughs> 200 more viewers, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I just want to say, I was really hoping Morg was going to be here because, you know, we both started this. Um, but unfortunately, uh, for all I know, he's fucking dead. Half the people that were supposed to be here are dead that I'm aware of. Um, I like, I have more. <laughs> uh, I shot so, them. I apologize for my uh, actions. Unfortunately, uh, I really wanted to have everyone that's been in an episode here. Apparently, giving them a two-week notice is not long enough, so I'm going to give them a fucking two-month notice, and we'll see what happens for <laughs> the, the first, first episode. episode starts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, today, we kind of have a topic. We also kind of don't. Just something to kind of get the ball rolling. But honestly, for this episode, we're just going to kind of shoot the shit and just be happy this is over. Hopefully, make it to an hour. That'd be nice. Let's and hope we have a... A, a daily uh, rage thing from, from Juby. That'd be great. Oh, you want me to somehow rant here? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Put in a Juby rant. Bam. Hour and a half podcast. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, we, ha- like I said, we have a little bit of a topic. And if anyone's been watching since episode one, I know that probably that one guy. Or just my mother. I haven't uh, seen a single episode. <laughs> The first episode we did was a uh, first game ever played and beat. We're going to actually kind of recall. Sorry, I'm getting all gassed up all the time. Shouldn't have uh, Taco Bell before this, huh? Uh, listen, man, I had a DiGiorno Rising Crust Pizza. It was Yo, fucking that shit good, though. You, that yeah, shit exactly. Good, though. He knows. Yeah, he knows. It's a busted. <laughs> So Dude, we're... it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. DiGiorno? <laughs> DiGiorno. It's DiGiorno! It's DiGiorno! It's DiGiorno's uh, competitor. Uh, this, this, <laughs> this is where I retire. So we're gonna, um, basically we're gonna go with that kind of topic again. Not the ever beaten, but I was curious. You know, I'm 23, 
James is 14, Jester's 12, and Glovey's 7. I'm curious what, what everyone's... I'm 24! Uh, <laughs> I'm curious about everyone's early childhood gaming, and I was curious if you guys take a shot every time I say fucking curious. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> I was wondering what you guys thought about gaming when you were a child, or how did you get introduced to it, or anything of that sort. You guys already heard my story. I'll recall it a little bit from episode one, but I really want the main focus to be on our new guests. So... I'll just give you guys a basic question to help keep this all together. What was the first console you played? And can you remember the first game? Let's start with Glovey. He's new. Uh, PS3 was the first one I ever had. Um, Because when my dad moved out of my house, his PS3 became mine. Um, And one of the games... I have been... Because I am a huge nerd, right? No one loves me. So I dug into books. And I learned about about the Nazis. So I love World War II games. So the first ever game I played on console that I can remember back to was Call of Duty 3. Not Black Ops 3, because that actually came out at the time. <laughs> That's how far behind I was. Um, it's still $60, so you wouldn't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it was Call of Duty 3, the one that was in World War II, and it was like the only COD game that had actual vehicles in it at the time. Oh, yeah, you could drive the Jeep. Most yeah, yeah. that driving was so bad. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah, they had it was great. They, had great. they didn't have custom classes. I only remember three of the multiplayer maps. Wait, you didn't Fortnite dance on Hitler? What Call of Duty is this? <laughs> you're thinking of the newest World War II one. <laughs> you're thinking of, like, Sniper Elite. <laughs> <laughs> And anyway, I couldn't get the other COD games at the time because they were rated M, right? Um, and because, the, no, actually, most importantly, because they had swearing in them. Oh, no. I, I watched oh, We no. Were Soldiers and watched a guy get his face melted off from white phosphorus. But That's if dope. He, but if he swore while doing it, couldn't watch it. I still have an age restriction on my Netflix. Don't you, don't you just love parents and their logic? <laughs> Grandparents, even worse. Mm-hmm. Well, Jimmy says, my as I as went and thinks... did that, you little shit. Yeah. Jimmy says as he has a body. as a fucking child. It's not his, it's different. Parents, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's close it's... enough. <laughs> well, you can ask James. Um, me and James were talking one day, and we're allowed to go off topic on this, honestly. It's fine. Uh, me and James were talking one day, and we were getting into James an argument. I use proper English. All right, now he's server I. muted. Anyway, so James and I. <laughs> James <laughs> and me. I'm kidding. Uh, we were having an argument, and I think I told him, like, I'm right, shut up. And he just went, you are a fucking parent. <laughs> God, my opinion suddenly becomes back talk because you asked. Yeah, that was it. That was it. I told you no back talk. That was it. <laughs> well, I have, I have discovered um, a way to counter this. Is because the way my brain works is it takes in information, shoves it to the back, and then regurgitates it when I need it. So I have just memorized everything they've like ever said to me in a negative connotation. And whenever they need to do something or they they're not following their own rules of something they told me to do, it just regurgitated back instantly in their exact words. Thrown up, huh? Yeah. Please save it. Please. As soon as you have loin children immediately just you can't remember things people said correctly <laughs> like you cannot physically remember exactly what i said it, it instantly becomes some amalgamation <laughs> of what i said and what you think i said oh yeah that's different because it's a positive thing um and it's not being it's not um her trying to you know make me do something <laughs> so that's why oh yeah real you know Real parents start doing shit like, oh, using my words, twisting them to their fucking opinions and shit for their arguments. Oh, yeah, like, I, do, I, I do that to this. them. No, I said this. I'm just going to tell you, you to go are, to your room. <laughs> Jimmy, yeah. you and I are going to have to back away from this one because we're both adults. In the, in, yeah, uh, but I'm the one with the kid, so that's the interesting yeah. part. Again, okay, not I'll, yours. I'll <laughs> stay away from you. <laughs> Our uh, kid. Go to your room. Our kid, it's the Twitch's kid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're gonna Twitch make that star. Kid. Six bits to... instead of two hundred thousand channel points and stream two hundred thousand channel points to adopt the kid. You can have no, the kid. No, rename the kid. <laughs> rename the kid. No. Um, speaking hey. of the tw- speaking of the Twitch, um, for anyone that doesn't look at my Twitch, which is a majority of you, but uh, I have completely revamped. You have a Twitch? I have completely revamped my Twitch, and we have a lot of goodies there now. 
And I even had stuff for mods to do, but the mods didn't do anything. Weird. So it's not my fault. Your mods are supposed to do streams. Well, there's stuff where people can spend bone points to have you guys make a poll of bone whatever points. the fuck they want. Um, yeah, you guys can make some of last stream when you first streamed by mutant. It would not connect me to the chat while I was on my phone. Oh well, that's don't be on your phone then. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I wanted to play Tsushima, so I went downstairs. The PS4. Why don't you just you know um, you better. send signals via smoke? Yeah, you could just tell Glovey, be like, Glovey, here's my Twitch. <laughs> you have a Twitch? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> um, okay, so we got that. So you played Call of Duty 3, PS3. Yes. I that remember was... that coming out. My The first impression I had of Call of Duty 3, I my dad got it on the Wii. We just got a Wii. Oh and no! The we Wii thought, port. So no, 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 no! It's not even that. It's not even that. It's the. It's my poor little imagination. So you know, the Wii was advertising like, "Oh, this controller it moves with your motion, yada yada." Well, me oh. and my family all thought the same fucking thing that you were just gonna hold that one controller like a fucking gun and shoot. Nope, bust out the fucking nunchuck, and I'm like, "This fucking sucks." You oh, remember the the, uh, the nunchuck, bro? No, that no, thing no, was no, fucking no. garbage. On the top, on the topic of old style controllers and like first ever games we played, I also played the old the old 2013 Cabela's Hunting game that actually came yes, out. Yes, I had that. Yeah, I have the gun. I have the gun. The gun controller that it comes with. I used to play it in my basement before one of the fifth floods happened. I used that gun controller for short films when I was a kid. I would use that as like a gun for the bad guys. I also used it to shoot up my Zoom call and the, be the first virtual school shooter. Oh Jesus, stop it! <laughs> uh, so yeah, so yeah, that was bad. Uh, after that, I never played the Wii again. It's kind of funny. I had two Wiis in my life, and I never played them. My dad just kept buying them for me, and I'm like, dude, I don't touch these. <laughs> oh, did you not have? Wait, I, I need, I need to know, Truby. Did you not have like that little plastic like thing that goes for the nunchuck and the Wii remote the for the gun? Man? Not the foreskin. The... <laughs> <laughs> no, no I didn't like a little... because we all thought we weren't going to. My dad even thought, oh, you're just going to hold it like a gun and you're going to go. And I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Apparently, it didn't make sense to Nintendo. You, you, you forget that game companies designs aren't based off of what makes sense. It's based off of what is cheapest. I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, uh, look at modern day COD. So there we go. So the seven year old told us what he thought. James, I'm curious about you because you kind of mentioned it earlier. Your first system was a DS. Yeah, it's like a more advanced Game Boy. I I know what it is. I'm not that old. Holy shit! Are you sure, bro? I you have my 3DS right stuff. here. You know, it's a 3DS. <laughs> yeah, it. one. No fucking 3D bullshit. <laughs> I had the Nintendo Lite, so I could even put GameCube games in GameCube fucking Game Boy games <laughs> in if I wanted to. Dude, I remember oh, having a DS. No. I had a normal DS, and I played the shit out of that thing, by the way. Because oh, I had a... You know, get under your pillow. I had a Game Boy Advance that I fucking hated, because I'm like, the graphics on here suck. Because I didn't understand that, you know, handheld gaming's not going to be as strong as normal gaming. So I fucking hated it. And then the you DS guys... was almost there. The you DS was actually pretty fucking good, not going to lie. Yeah. You, you guys don't understand the struggles, okay, man? I programmed Doom onto my Etch Sketch, bro. I don't know. I don't know if you know how hard that is. <laughs> and I, I, I don't mean it. old school Doom. I mean Doom 2016. <laughs> um, one thing that uh, I remember with the DS, I also had for some reason, and I'm not bashing on my dad. I hope nobody thinks that. The guy who literally bought me everything I ever wanted. Fucking awesome dude. Um, he what also friend? got me a Nintendo DSi. And I remember looking at it, I played it, and I'm like, what's the fucking difference? No, no they added a new letter, bro. What do you mean? That's about <laughs> it, yeah. And they, uh, they added $200 to the is, price is, tag. Is the DSi the one that doesn't fold? No, it folds. That, you're thinking of the 2DS, which the I think 2DS. is so dumb. It's just a Game Boy, but more advanced. It's just a Game Boy with two screens. The Game Boy more advanced. <laughs> the Game Boy. Boy. Please, Advanced-er. Nintendo, bring back the Game Boy and call it that. More advanced, the Game Boy MA. You mean the Switch? <laughs> no. That's basically and the Switch Lite. It goes bigger and then it yeah, goes Yeah, the small. Switch Lite. Dude, the Switch Lite's so stupid. They hey, Switch like, Lite's um, garbage. To be fair, the Switch revolutionized handheld gaming. I'll be real with you. I have a Switch. It's fucking great. 
It's Dude, amazing. Um, I was just gonna say that the fucking Switch Lite, you're you're just paying for a 3DS essentially. <laughs> That's funny because like um they well, did it like a the test. PS can't connect to your TV, can it? And the controllers can't disconnect. You can probably program it. Yeah, to do but that. the the Switch Lite can't do any of that. It's literally a giant Game Boy. Yeah, yeah that's really what I'm saying. Stupid. You shouldn't even buy it. There's no point. Yeah, just it's like, just get the... F- and I think it's only 100 bucks cheaper. And it's like, dude, just get the fuck no, game. It's, it's only like $50 cheaper. Like, just fork over the extra 50 and get the regular Switch. It's a million times better. Yeah, I want to <laughs> play it on my fucking big-ass TV, bro. Stop being a broke piece of shit. And Stop being Stop a broke money. piece of shit. Stop listening to this podcast for free. <laughs> Give me money. Give Here's me money. My if, you, if, you have, if you have if you have time to listen to this podcast, no, you can no, this we make fun of her enough. We make fun of her enough. I don't listen to the podcast only because it keeps recommending it to me on YouTube. So it just oh yeah, Glovey watched the first video. The the first video I uh, Glovey watched my newest video, which is the first video he's watched that I've made. Which is the Breakpoint <laughs> video. No, I watched oh, the, that, and I originally watched your setup reveal. And then I watched the, like, the 2021 thing, where you played Beat Saber and stuff. You know, uh, Oh, yeah, the reel. Oh, the, the February, yeah, the February reel. Dude, that's I it. Fucking, that's all I watched. That reel was awesome. Don't even And because it me. just keeps recommending your stuff to me on YouTube, I don't watch it. If it makes you feel any better, my old channel, when I used to do short films for college and high school... I just started, I watched a couple of those old videos because I'm like, oh, those are some fun times. That shot's horrible. That could have been done better. Yada, yada. <laughs> you know, I got better at what I do or what I used to do, I should say. I kind of still do it. And I look at them and I'm like, oh, I had such motivation to do it. But God damn, does that look bad? <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm over here like, oh, we need to hit someone with a car. All right, let's do it. Um, and In real life. Uh, hit someone with a car. <laughs> Um, and what I, uh, and what I, what I was trying to say is, um, it's just funny because you always complain that you keep getting recommended that stuff. I keep getting recommended my old short films now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm get like, it, I'll watch it. <laughs> oh no, I got, I got a freaking uh, like notification from YouTube saying, Hey, you still there? After I was like gazing at my old, uh, YouTube videos. I'm like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> you were telling me today you want to make more videos. Let's fucking go, bro. Do. Let's do I it. Do. <laughs> Susan's uh, holding my family hostage. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get money. me to buy premium. <laughs> Dude, are you sure? Oh, my, okay, let's say I don't, I'm not that good. I have like freaking 10 subscribers. <laughs> you have more active subscribers than me. Ayo. I used to stream on YouTube when I was younger on PS and on PS4. Obviously, I all private them because of the severe racism of my friends. That's um, a fun part. <laughs> but my most my most popular video had like a hundred. It was like two hundred seventy views, and it was just me playing Homefront: The Revolution with the Freedom Rocket Launcher and blowing people up. My <laughs> most active YouTube. And there was a typo in the title. <laughs> my most viewed video ever. Um, is on my short film page, and it's a it's a black and white slapstick comedy movie called The Detective, and it had one thousand views, and I was I was baffled. It took six years, but it got to a thousand views. Oh, I thought you I thought you meant it took six years to make. No, um, let me look real quick. Uh, just so I'm not bullshit. Someone, I don't understand this because can someone explain to me what slapstick comedy even is? So have you ever seen uh, Charlie? Uh, fuck, what's his name? Oh my god, I feel horrible. Uh, nineteen. Charlie Chaplin. Thank you, Charlie Chaplin. Said, um, no. What? What? Okay, look up Charlie Chaplin. Hitler. Is he? I know Hitler. He has oh, that one. he has Hitler's mustache, which was called the toothbrush before Hitler fucked that up. It's funny because he actually played Hitler in a fucking film. Yeah, that I knew. That's Dude, him. Imagine, so imagine slapstick the- comedy is essentially there's no uh, so slapstick comedy is comedy with pain. Or actions. Oh, why didn't you just say the Three Stooges? I mean, I was going getting there, but yeah, they're <laughs> they're a great example. Of slapstick. Charlie Chaplin's a great example. Because My, like, I didn't, I didn't know like what it meant. Every time someone says that, all I imagine is just a slap. Bracelet. Slapstick comedy is like Jester. I throw a coin down, and Jester goes to pick it up, and then I boot Jester in the butt. Oh, I thought you were gonna say that he explodes. And then I fuck him in the... What? <laughs> hey, well, that's that's a, different, a different comedy. <laughs> that's for a different recording. Hold on. That will be, that will be a night. Tune in at 7 p.m. for that one. 
slapstick pornography. Oh my god. No, that's probably a thing. No! Oh, that's Stop. probably a thing. Rule no, that's just some masochism, guys. Just hold on. That's a literal <laughs> slapping with a stick. All right. James, <laughs> what's the first game you played then? Uh, <laughs> no, I played uh, Lego exactly. Star Wars 3. You didn't play one or two? I don't hey, have them. To That's be not fair, how you, it worked back then. You can we actually play them. Like, you can hop before. into those Lego games. You can hop into those Lego games no problem without like not going. Three to was story. just Clone Wars. I never. Yeah, three was Wars just the Clone Wars story. Uh, I show. That game. And I still I love the Clone Wars to this day. It's still my favorite Star Wars aspect is the Clone That's Wars. A, it's it's a good. I, since we're gonna talk about Star uh, Lego Star Wars, I can't wait for Skywalker Saga. I agree. Shut up. It looks great. It but I want to see gameplay. That's the thing. Where's the gameplay? Too bad it's the sequels, and the sequels suck. Well, that's the only reason I want to play. I want to play as old Pal. I want to play as new Palpatine. Old, yeah. old, new Palpatine. Real shit. Real shit. I think that the Ray actor did all right. Okay, give me. Get, I'll give her a break. Right, but Disney fucked it. So I was gonna say it's all hard. Disney's fault, and everyone knows. Nobody blamed the actors. The actors did a great job. Even Mark Hamill. He's like, dude. What are you doing, Disney? <laughs> no, but like, I feel bad because I, I'm... That's not how the Force works. Name another show or film that those actors have been in. Um, Mark Star Wars, uh, the, other, the other Star Wars movie. That, I'm, I'm talking about, I'm talking about the, the main three. Ray, Finn, Ray, Ray and... Finn. Uh, BB-8. Oh, BB-8? No. What, what movie oh. BB-8 been in? I was talking about Poe, but yeah, that guy. <laughs> oh, Poe? Wait, wait Poe was a main character? I only remember him seeing him like twice. Uh, Chadwick Boseman was. Wait, no, that's Boseman. not. The... No, 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 that's, that's, that's Black name. Panther. That's Black Panther. That's... You are an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Sorry, Chadwick Boseman. Sorry, he looked look nothing alike. That's... I thought his name was Chadwick, and then I'm like, oh wait, what's his last name? Is it Boseman? I looked it up, and I'm like, wait, Avengers Boseman. Endgame? He's not an Avengers Endgame. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Chadwick uh, Boseman. Let's just say Jimmy's racist. What? <laughs> Not only Asians look alike. Whoa! <laughs> Stop! Not, we're not Stop. even on the topic of Asia. Don't! I can't find the stop button! Stop! There that it is! Stop. Stop. Stop! You stop that right now! You're being a sussy baka, Jester. That's what you're being. Thank you for calling me that. I, I'm, I'm horny now, thanks. A hashtag no okay. racism. His name is John Boyega. Great. Well, you everyone went quiet. Wait, why would you look for the actor name first and not the character name? He was in Pacific Rim. Oh, was he? Oh, yeah, the yeah. bad one, right? He's... The bad one, right? Uh, Uprising. Yeah, the bad one. Yeah, the first one was better. I agree. He was also Although the in... anime was actually pretty good. He was also in uh, the what uh, the Skywalker Legacy, which is not a Star Wars movie. So get fucked. <laughs> what what I like does him. he play Jesus? I, I don't fucking know. I oh, don't know. I guess that would be Water Walker. He just he just told me to find <laughs> movies with these actors have been in. He's been in. I guess. Oh, excuse me. I'm dying. Uh, Daisy Ridley has been in plenty of movies. It should be easy yeah. to find. Uh, Chaos Walking. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. What the fuck? Adam Driver. He's been in a shit no. ton of movies and oh, shows. Wrong, wrong server. I forgot that's not banned here. What's not? <laughs> <laughs> wait. Well, Adam Driver has been in a lot of movies. Daisy Ridley. Famous before he was Ben. 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 ben yeah. Kenobi. Ben Solo. The, only movies, the yeah. only movies I remember him in is the Star Wars. Is obviously Star Wars. And then I was watching clips on YouTube where he just plays a guy infiltrating um a group of racist clansmen. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. That's that's a good movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he calls the guy. He calls like the guy a Jew. That's where I've seen him from. He was in Lincoln. Is that what it's called? Adam <laughs> Driver, yeah, Lincoln. Okay. He owns a Lincoln? Yeah, he owns the Lincoln. Tom. Abraham, Abraham Lincoln. He owns Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're remodeling the monument. They're just shaving the beard off, and it's just gonna, they're just gonna <laughs> shave him both the off. Lincoln Memorial and Adam Driver. Yeah. The Driver Memorial. <laughs> the Adam Memorial. Yeah. Um, and then, and then he free, Adam he Lincoln. Wars. So... We're we're slowly going through. Uh, we're doing great. Anyway, on Je another topic. Yeah, um, Jester, hold on. First, Jester, first console. 
Oh Jesus! I had my first console was a joystick that played Pac Man and a bunch of other classic. Oh, games. You had a plug and play. A plug you had a plug play. and play. Oh. I had and those the, too. And the first game I played from it was Dig Dug. Yeah, Yo, that game was fucking sick. Let's fucking dude. I have a big. I have like the largest arcade in New England in my state. And fucking, I love going there and just seeing all the old games, dude. I go yeah. through fucking nostalgia like crazy. Paperboy, Dig Dug, uh, Afterburner. <laughs> I forgot what it was. Uh, it was like Rally Racer, but basically you were re- you were trying to collect all these points that before like these two red cars were trying to basically blow you up. It was a weird ass game. Fucking hell, I know what you're talking about, and I hate that I don't know what it's called. Uh, and there's uh, Galaga, Pac-Man, the usual, but it was, I remember having a blast. But my first uh, console, my, my first console was a PS2, and it was, uh, and I played a, a car racing game called Burnout. Jesus. Wait, I, uh, there was a Demolition Derby game on the PS2, because my grandfather Burnout? had one. I don't know if it was called No, Burnout. it's not Burnout. <laughs> no, but it was a, like, it was like GTA type style car destruction. I know what you're and, talking about. Yeah, I had that it game. Was like a Demolition that Derby, game. and you, I always played in the Coliseum. Yep, I know exactly what game you're talking yeah. about, and I played it. And then there it's was also Jaws Unleashed. Unleashed. It's a Jaws weird, it's a Unleashed, weird let's go! I have that on my PC now. We bought it, right? Um, and I tried to play it, but the controls were so bad. There you go. Oh yeah, the controls are really bad. Try mouse and keyboard. Oh. Alright, now I have to ask. Besides PC, what console do you guys use the most nowadays? Uh, PS4. PC. PS4, because I don't PS4. have anything else. Okay, you guys are gonna fucking laugh at me. PS3. Uh, you okay. guys didn't even let me answer. Uh, Shut up. I was this gonna is my podcast. My, now. I was gonna say my oh, PSP. Oh, I respect it. Oh, uh, the game you like guys it. are thinking about, by the way, is called just Demolition Derby Arenas. Yeah, is that what it means? Well, it, it it's up. that easy. Yeah. Either no, I that or. The PS3, so. That's the only uh, PlayStation Two <laughs> game I can see. Um, but yeah. So that's funny. God damn it, Jester. I was hoping I wasn't going to be the super old boy, but no, you have to say PS2. My first console was the fucking Sega Dreamcast. I have a buddy of mine who had, who also had the Sega Dreamcast, but he's Boomer. also... Oh, that's yeah. it! Destruction Derby Arenas! Yeah, You're that's welcome. it! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I looked it up, too. God, that's an yeah. old game. Oh, yeah, I oh, love I got this an older thing. console. Fucking Sega Dreamcast and... Unfortunately, I cannot remember what was my first game because I don't remember really playing it. The only one, the only console I remember playing a lot was my Super Nintendo, and that was Super Mario World. Um, and boomer. I was like fucking four. So what do you mean, boomer? Shut up! This is back in the back in my day. You had to use the phone or the internet. There wasn't an option. You couldn't yeah, use Jubi. 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 Much yeah. blind. Yeah, Juby had to. Um... <laughs> Juby had to, um, he had dial-up. You to light your candle. We did have dial-up. Did. We did have dial-up. I'll say it. Juby also had to go, like, hand-crank the generator to keep the house. <laughs> okay, no, not that old. Uh, we did have to stand up on the antenna and angle it. Juby, aren't you in your 20s? <laughs> like, Dude, yeah, yeah, we didn't have new stuff. I had, a little, I had one of, like, not the, um, like... The big box ones, but like when I played PS2, like I said, it was at my grandfather's house. He finally got a new one, but he had one of those old, huge tube TVs. Uh, oh, so I, I know. Oh my uh, god, the I oldest. Was, I remember the box TV we had. I remember the box TV we had. We played on freaking Channel Two. I remember that oldest TV we had. It had rabbit ears. Games were on <laughs> Channel Three. Yeah, I remember Channel Two. It was. I remember everything else was static. Dude, I never yeah, used the right. rabbit ear TV. Thank God we had it. I never used it. He but, had like uh, every movie he ever wanted to watch on DVD because he didn't have cable <laughs> for the TV. Dude, fucking oh my god, nostalgia! Jesus Christ, I remember. Hi, boomer. It's okay. Uh, I feel all right. Can I just say I'm only 23. I'm about to be 24 next month, actually. Um, and I was boomer. born in 1997. I'm not a boomer. You said exactly like okay. my mom when we talk about her when she was a kid. Yeah, because when you guys get older, Mr. 14-year-old, you're going to be like, holy Look, I shit, thought, I that was 20 not, years ago? Bro. It's like, when I'm, do dude, it's getting so bad that the angry video game nerd, because, you know, he does nostalgic games, and but he'll go up through the years as years progress. He's fucking, 
He's fucking reviewing games I played as a kid, and I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> I'm like, what is this? He just did um Chaos something. Chaos Drive, I think. I saw it, I'm like, no. See, the Am I is that you... old? <laughs> the worst part is, is you never remember them by name, either. And you only remember a couple snippets of what you played. Like, I Corpse had this killer. old Gundam. I had this old Gundam game that I used to play. Yeah, I only remember when it, I didn't like it, so I didn't play it that much. I don't remember what happened. All I remember was that it was like like big open levels, and you just ran around and shot stuff. And I wasn't good at it. I think I had the exact same Gundam game. It was, was Xbox 360. Was, there was like seven of them, and they all they all looked the same. So yeah, like, and I don't remember what it was called. I, I I because my dad is fucking obsessed with Gundam. I didn't even know it was Gundam until like six years later. I'm real with you. I don't even know what a Gundam is. But what I do remember is that um, the first game I ever played on my PS4 and the first game I ever bought, because I played, my dad got his PS4 before me at his house, so I went over there and I played split-screen co-op Black Ops 3 with him. And we got, that was back when Nuketown, you had to get a, it was a special and you had to put the code in to get the map. I remember, yeah, yeah, for Black Ops 2, right? No, this was for Black Ops 3. Oh, okay. Black Ops 2 had, oh, that was Nuketown Zombies, I'm thinking of. Yeah, Yeah, Nuketown Zombies. Um, and then, um, Which was and then when I bought map. mine, we bought one. No, Nuketown has always been a decent multiplayer map, but as a zombies map, it's kind of garbage. Yeah, oh, Nuketown Zombies was fucking fun. I don't know your It is in Pavlov. <laughs> yeah, we should play that again, but anyway. Yes, we should. Um, and then the first ever game I bought was Rainbow Six Siege. And I, I was just like, the original? Was, n- no, Rainbow Six Rainbow Siege. Rainbow Six Siege, the original. Yeah. No, you're thinking I, of like Rainbow Six Vegas. Or I remember like because I was disappointed because it didn't look like the alpha footage I saw. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, was it, is this really the same game? I'm like, was this the one I wanted? Because I didn't remember the name and I found it again. Or like one game, like so I had a MacBook and I so but I love watching people play RTS games and I always wanted to play them. So there was this one game that I watched a guy play and I always forgot the name of. And it was from the depths, and I had, I forgot and remembered the name like seven different times over the years. It's funny you say they used to watch like uh, you used to like watching people play RTS. That's how I got introduced to the Total War series. I was in sixth grade, learning about the American Revolution and musket warfare, and I was so interested in seeing that stuff. I just started googling random things like uh, like reenactments, etc. And someone had a reenactment they did in Empire Total War. And that's my like first I, introduction to RTS. I and, remember that too. Yeah, people did people did comps of the battles with the HUDs turned off. Yep, and they look cool. That, and I also remember watching gameplay of the Mountain War Napoleon DLC. I <laughs> and I didn't even know the Total War stuff. Like it was, I was watching sieges and everything because I also love Men of War, and I saw these Total War you ones, and I didn't, I didn't know it was um, Total War until now, and I played the games. Um, and I remember, yeah. Seeing that shit, and I remember my uh mother bought me this cheap ass laptop, but this cheap ass laptop could run Empire Total War. I had the disc for it, like there was no Steam. Oh, yeah. I remember those. And I remember I was like, those. Oh things. my god, this is crazy! And I'm like, <laughs> oh, this looks great. And I had like five frames per second. And I'm like, God, they're shooting the muskets. It's like one person shooting, and the computer cl- crashes. It was so bad. Oh it was definitely God. not ready for it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's how I trained. That was my first introduction to PC gaming. And then now look at me. Holy shit. No, Three monitors. Sure now yeah. I can play um, Avengers, that one Avengers Marvel game on mobile. Ew. Well, it looks like on mobile. Oh I, my I God. fucking uninstalled that. That's such a disappointing game. Uh, All right, here's, here's a question for you guys. Favorite childhood game? Jaws Unleashed, easily. There's a reason I have it on my PC still. <laughs> um, I don't know. It was. It's gonna. It's probably gonna. Have I know. To you, I know. I know. You two are still in your childhoods, but ignore it's, that part for now. It's probably gonna have like from like earlier would be COD three, but my Black dad Island bought me. Two. Um, my dad bought me Modern Warfare two and Modern Warfare three. Nah. Um, for Christmas, and I never played the first game. I played through both campaigns, and then I jumped into the multiplayer. And I still God, remember I... playing um Modern Warfare three Survival. Well, uh, learning that my great grandmother <laughs> died that night. Jesus! Oh. Fucking no! Why did I laugh? Oh no! Yeah, why that, did you laugh, Jester? That, that's a, oh, no, a very funny, Jester. Yeah, that's hilarious. 
fucking cringe, Jesus. baby. <laughs> and then I bought them on Steam and played them again. I'm, I, I wanted to look at the Call of Duty bundle because you mentioned that Call of Duty 3 cannot be bought on... Uh... It's not on Steam, no. Is it part of the bundle? Nope. What? Yeah, my it's, favorite it's, trial it's is to buy Black Ops 2. So, the, re- Ops 2. the reason I'm yeah. mentioning what I'm doing is the fact that um, I just looked at... I remembered our last episode and how we talked about Black Ops 2 is still $60. Black Ops 2 <laughs> and Black Ops 3 are the same price. And wow. to me, that just doesn't make any sense. But regardless... Um, I wanted to look that at the bundle. Episode for that. <laughs> yeah, go look. Go watch the last episode oh, for that. The one. only reason it's not on there is because they were pressured to make. Um, they were pressured to make the release of Call of Duty Two Big Red One, so they had a shorter amount of time to make COD Three, so they just scrapped the PC version. Ah, that explains a lot. You guys want to buy My... the Call of Duty franchise bundle for only eight hundred and eighty-one dollars? Is it on sale? <laughs> it is ten percent off. Oh, I'm Pog, I'm doing it. <laughs> and just like that, the money I've been trying to save forever just fucking goes There away. goes there goes your kid's college fund. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you. You know she never had one. It's My, funny because uh, it gives you all the game. DLC for the games, too. And, like, bruh, the multiplayer is all dead. <laughs> that one we joined. Hey, I only, um, have to pay, I only have to pay um $706 because of my um 13 items I already own. <laughs> Jesus. You were saying something, Jester? I was going to say, my childhood game was Age of Empires 2. My favorite childhood really? game. Really? I always I thought that game. looked so that boring. Right now. The, okay, it's ma- it's mainly because it's memories of my, like, I going to my grandmother's house. My grandmother I, didn't pass away, so I can't really say that part, but. <laughs> I, I just want to get you laugh. Wow, man. That was wow. a traumatic experience. Really. I just want to say the Halo the Master Chief collection is forty dollars right now. I bought that on sale. Black Ops two and three are sixty. Activision, I know this isn't the the right podcast, but Activision, get your shit figured out. Halo the Halo Master Chief collection is, is only worth it if for the nostalgia. Like I never played Halo and just the Master Chief Collection. I had like, the Master Chief Collection it. thanks to Game Pass and I played every single Halo again and it felt so good. I actually played the Master Chief Collection on Xbox at my dad's house on his Xbox One S a bit. That was uh very fun. Now if Halo Infinite could just, you know, come out, it'd be great. Mm, no. <laughs> They're working on Destiny three. <laughs> oh no, please. Let it die. Um, what was I gonna say? Jane's is next, right? Jane's favorite game. Here he said it. Black Ops oh, Two. So my bad. Yeah, my bad. I had I had a story to tell Which about. Oh, go for it. Was I was it. never able to say anything. That's fine. That's because you didn't interrupt us. I yeah. was trying to. Well, keep trying. Be more assertive. Well, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> so, at, a I long time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and me and my brother used to always play on the Xbox 360 down when it was connected to the family TV. We would always usually play something like Black Ops 2 and either play against bots because we didn't have gold. We weren't paying for that shit. I remember that. <laughs> or, or we would fight each other. I would always lose because, you know, I sucked. I was younger. I didn't have as much experience playing video games. And that him beating my ass basically every single match is why I strive to always get better at games and now there's barely any games he can beat me in. So he's uh, the reason you have a temper with For Honor? I'm gonna kick your brother's ass. To <laughs> add on to his story. His uh, I actually started playing For Honor because he got it when it was free with, for, with, free with gold and I played it and I liked <laughs> it. And when it went freak for PC, I got it. But the PC controls at the time were garbage. <laughs> and I didn't play it also because my computer couldn't really handle it that well. Because, you know, I was still... I had a shit PC. I didn't have the one... I, I didn't even have the one I had before this one. You didn't have your uh, 2.5 terabyte SSD. My one <laughs> terabyte SSD and three terabyte SATA drive. Wait, wait, James, who did you play as? Now I'm curious. Lawbringer. Lobbring. I of course. He was yep. Oh, on cool. block. I fucking I miss that low key. I miss it. Let's uh, um, talk more about what he was saying with Black Ops with his Black Ops stuff. Is so yeah. obviously I had a next gen console, so I couldn't play these old games, but I watched like videos on it. So we go up. I'd go over to his house and we'd sit on his couch and we'd play split screen. And he had more COD games than me, 
And what we did is we sat and we played through. We did one life on each of them, split screen. And we went and we sat through and we played all the zombies maps in chronological order. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a blast. And got wrecked on like Me and my dad did them. something like that when we had Black Ops 2 and I had all the DLCs. We went right in order and it, he fucking loved it. He had so much fun. All the way from Nazi zombies to... From what? Kino de Toten, or from Nachter Adon, and I'm... Not their Untoten. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm butchering it. Well, All the way to Moon. That. I know, we will... It... Oh god, now I need to know. Uh, favorite zombies map? Verrucked! Verrucked! It's the only that good one! Rucked. Suck my ass! Darius. Remastered. Darius, 100%. Wait, no, I'm never really... mind. I'm wrong. Sorry. Uh, because I did all my challenges on, on Ascension, I have to go with Ascension. Yeah, mine is probably <laughs> Ascension from Zombie Chronicles and Black Ops 3, but most played would be D from Black Ops 3 as well. Yeah, I like that. Most played, Verrocked, <laughs> best map in my opinion, Ascension. I agree with him. I think my favorite map was Shangri-La. Really? You and my old yeah. friend Puerto Rico. Holy crap. I hated <laughs> that map. That map I was love so it. garbage to me. I loved it. It was great. How? Dude, the baby gun. I, the baby you go, gun. You go to one place. You go to one place in that map following the river, and you're stuck there forever. Nah, not forever. Felt like forever until the end of the I round, remember... and then you sprint back, and you're like, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> so I remember uh, when I got Black Ops 2, we didn't, uh, for the PS3, Me, uh, we didn't have online. We didn't do, uh, you guys called it gold. I forget what PlayStation called it. PlayStation it's Network. PlayStation whatever. Plus. Yeah, that whatever that crap was. PS3 we didn't, didn't do that. that. Yeah, no, we they had PlayStation Network was what it was. Yeah, it was free. Yes, and yeah, it was free. Oh. We didn't do it. Like, the reason well, being is that PSN, PSN, it's like Xbox Live. Xbox Live is like being able to connect to the Xbox. Yeah, network. PSN is being is being able to connect to the network. Yeah, PS Plus is being able to play online. Uh, yeah, so our parents, it. our parents didn't want us to play online because she they didn't want freaking like strangers trying to be friends with us. Reasonable. Why? Why not? Ironic. Look, I'm friends with a 14 year old. Oh, that's yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> ironic. 14 year old might be going to your wedding. Oh, yeah, that is also true. I keep forgetting that. <laughs> uh, anyways, but I remember. Uh, I remember we didn't have any DLCs. We had nothing. The only DLC we had was Nuketown because we fucking found the code. And, uh,. And <laughs> I remember playing Transit so long. Every fucking game of Zombies was Transit. Wait, Nuketown 2025, the one in Black Ops 2, that was free. Oh, it might have been free. I don't it was dude. free. I'd... It was free if you got like the early cases that came with the code. Maybe, um, yeah. If you oh, got it, funny. if you got it months uh, down the line, good luck getting a code. It's funny because with um, Transit, it was going to be one because obviously it was so large. Um, the only reason they they um, shot themselves in the foot and added the fog, which everyone hated, is because the map wouldn't run. It ran to, too low. To it let was it too happen. big to render it. Dude, yeah. I so love the transit. In. That was I so did too. fun. It's I just a, it's can't a terrible the bus. Map. Just can't the bus. It's a, it's a terrible map, but I fucking love the map. It's a, it's fun. It has, a, it has oh. a horrid rhythm, like an absolutely garbage <laughs> rhythm to it, but it's kind of fun. God, I, okay, you, I know, how, you the, know how I said... Keep going. Oh. Sorry, I burped, so I was going to keep going. <laughs> um, the only thing I hate is that the bus stop areas were fucking tiny. Like the yeah, diner area, there's a diner and a shed. That's it. You can't go behind it. Like, So if you got rushed by a horde, you're fucked. <laughs> That's why having a sibling had was the advantage, because you had someone to back you up at all times. It's or to revive you when you had the ray gun. You yeah. had uh, the bus driver Stefan well. to back me up. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, oh God! You, I know I said Shangri La, but another map that I really fucking loved was Die Rise. I know that's a hated map too. Die Rise. Die Rise no. or Darice? Die Rise. Wait, what? There's another map called that? No, not Darice. Die Rise. That's the map. It's the second. It's the second map in the tri uh, Transit trilogy. Really? Yeah, the third one's buried. Huh. I never got any of the Black Ops Two DLCs, and I was told that that's I missed fair. out. Uh, the, you did miss out, but the Die Rise is not a good map, but I fucking love it anyway. I, I don't know what it is about me and Hitting loving bad maps. Oh no, man, we play For Honor, which has bad balance. Uh, There's the um, reference! Sh sh Shinobi main. <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> Get his EpiPen, he's going into shock! 
Miserable, miserable, miserable. Uh, anyway, now let's move on to another topic. Have you guys ever had any games that you played? Like, obviously, we're talking about old games and not remembering them. But you had a game that you loved and you didn't own, and you played it from someone else, and that was the only time you played it. But then you like found it later. Yep, Assassin's Creed Two. With, with, with me, um, I went to a party, and I don't remember anything at the party other than the bed, the people I played, the the teenagers I played with, and the game. Is it was the it was Zombie U, the old like zombie multiplayer survival oh, game where you got to play as a zombie on the Wii U, and um, and then it came the PS4 of just Zombie. And it was completely different. For me, it was Mario Kart. Hmm. Yeah, I well, the first time I played Mario Kart was at a buddy's house. I didn't even know it was called Mario Kart. I was like, oh, there's a bunch of Mario characters. What's this game called? Mario Kart. Oh, I could have guessed that. <laughs> What's Mario Kart? Um, yeah, th- then we bought the Wii, and all of a sudden my dad comes in. Hey, there's this game for the Wii called Mario Kart. I'm like, yo! I remember this game! I remember kicking ass on that <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is the game with the mushrooms. Yo, this is the <laughs> game where I can kill Toad. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Only you reason were the he wildlife. The true American spirit. No, I, I was the Dry Bones main. A, a really unique <laughs> Mario Kart game that I feel like nobody remembers except for me and my old buddy is Mario Kart Double Dash. Never heard of it. What? Yeah, never owned a Wii either. It was a GameCube game. It was a GameCube exclusive. It was Mario Kart Double Dash. You had two people in one cart. Really? Nobody remembers this. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. I never owned a Wii, so... Well, once again, not on the Wii. Oh. You know, I just remembered this console I had. Uh, do the you know the Boy. very fucking... T- no, 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 no. It was, it was a Game Boy, but it was like, this, like a small silver rectangle. Game Boy, but a small silver... I- what? A phone? Game Boy SP? No. I think that might have been it. Yeah. A tiny little thing. Right? It was, I remember rectangle. playing Mario Kart on that. It, it's yeah, it's, rectang- it's silver. Did it flip? No. What? All it right, did now not flip. Confused. What the fuck is this thing? I gotta look it up now. God damn it. It might be the original Game Boy? No, it, it it the original Game Boy. You needed a, li- a a a light source to play it. This one had its own light source. Gamecom? What? Did you have a Gamecom? No. What's what's a Gamecom? Okay, I don't know the name. It was the competitor for Nintendo. It was Sega's. It was Sega's no, Game Boy. No. Yeah. No. Well, that would make sense because you wouldn't be able to play Mario Par- Mario Kart on it. Yeah. Uh, Mario I'm, I'm, Party. Since we're speaking on nostalgia, what was your favorite movie as a kid? Um, oh, it's still mine, my favorite. Probably, oh, go ahead. Sorry. I'll, I'll start. Well, since I asked a question, I'll start with mine. Is and it's, I still love the day. Is the original Transformers 1986 movie? Is because I just love that old 90s animation style. I still have it because I have it on DVD. And I watch. Yeah. I must have watched that thing like a million times. Look in gaming. Oh, it's called the Game Boy Micro. Interesting. Oh, this, this is what I had. And I played oh, Mario that Kart on that bitch. Yeah, that's what I had. Yeah, I think that's that the Game Boy Advance, yeah. but like it went through a, an asylum. It's a Game that Boy. That is, that a, is a, I, a Game Boy Advance that survived an abortion attempt. That's the Game this, Boy Prison Edition, bro. Yeah, <laughs> this, that's the Shank Edition. This is what I had. This is what I had along with the plug and play. <laughs> Those were the two things I had. But I, yeah, I was I was a very unspoiled child. I'm nah, I'm cool. kidding. I was I was grateful. Rory, what's your favorite movie? As a kid, favorite as a kid or kid, movie. when you were younger, you know, at like that age. how younger? Because it depends. Like <laughs> at least six years ago. At least six. Bro, fucking Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Like, the movie was oh, fucking. Did you ever see the sequel? Did you ever see no, the sequel? There should not be a sequel. There is a sequel on Netflix. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, hold. There's a sequel? Then? Yes! It's not the same actors, Didn't... though. Didn't Shark Boy and Lava Girl, like, get oh, it yeah, on? It's, with like that? it's called We Can Be Heroes. Oh, God. It yeah, came out last thing. year. I saw that this came out. What the hell? Yeah, they fucking made a sequel. It's not the same actors, and Shark Boy fucking looks terrifying. 
Like, there, that's a guy I don't want to see ever again. It looks <laughs> like the porno ripoff. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, why do you know what the porno ripoff looks like? I've seen Wait, memes. What? Oh no. Memes. Uh, memes. That's Definitely. what it looks like. That's what it looks like. If you look at the difference between Shark Boy and both movies, like Lava Girl, you can at least understand. But Shark Boy. <laughs> Shark Boy looks oh, horrible. Man. Yeah, we're just never gonna talk about this again. I I don't want to talk about this. I'm just looking at images and I'm like, move oh, on, no. move on. Yeah, the only reason uh, I love the first one mostly because George, oh, George. I almost said the wrong <laughs> George there. George Lopez was in it and he played the main <laughs> yeah, villain. Yeah, was... Mr. Electric. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I love that. That fucking movie was weird, and the fact that I owned it made me even hate it more. That's a movie I, I thought like, I had a fever dream. What are like, the stupidest lines that you've ever remembered from a movie? He ruined my dream journal! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Electric sent to the principal's office and have him expel. Fucking yeets a book at him. Yeah. No, but dream, 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 dream. No, no, I'm banning you. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Minecraft dream YouTuber? Minecraft manhunt? <laughs> I do not want to ever hear that song ever again. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong. You were meaning any movie, right? Not just that movie. Just any movie, yeah. Oh, Jesus. We're, like, the just, best just random worst lines movie. that you remember from them. Uh, They're like, oh, like funny Jesus. lines. Jesus Christ. I Freaking He's Back like, of the fuck. Barnyard. Back oh, in the no yeah, way! Barnyard! Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, wait, have you seen... Boy tipping. Boy <laughs> tipping. <laughs> oh, my ears. Chad, I'm sorry. <laughs> I that. That's, that's yeah. a childhood movie have of mine. You, okay, have you... Well, I'm gonna have to show you something later. I thought it was a show as well, wasn't it? it? No, the yeah, original yeah. movie it became a show. was called... The original movie was called Barnyard, which yep. follows, like, the Otis and them. And then, yeah. um, well, mostly Otis, he's the main character. And then Back at the Barnyard was the Nickelodeon TV show that aired after. Is oh, it bad I, that I thought both the movie and the show slapped? They were. They I were like both actually, I enjoyed my, the movie as a my kid. Favorite episode, I'm sorry. My fa- favorite fa- episode from that is when the Irish, they become Irish. And they're talking about shillelaghs. It's an Irish walking stick. And then all their potatoes just get stolen by a leprechaun. I <laughs> guess. <laughs> <laughs> think- my favorite character was Biggie Cheese. Yes. <laughs> Mr. He was, he was Bombastic. Bombastic. Mr. Bombastic. He was only in the movie, though, and he got I know he was. screen time. It's just like Viper from Titanfall. They they had some notice, the most notable <laughs> lines with like the least screen time. <laughs> yeah. The skies are mine. Uh, Gets blown out. I guess not. <laughs> this guy belong to me, pilot. About uh, that. This guy's belonged to me, pilot. This guy's two five hundred civilians are killed. Will, this guy's belonged to me, pilot. Get shot down from the ground. Ah, the skies are mine now. <laughs> the skies are me. The skies are means, pilot. Now commits four crimes, kills four hundred civilians. <laughs> what? The way you worded that was so bad. It's like one of those like reverse. The pilot sky is me, mine. <laughs> mine the pilot sky is me. <laughs> I am I me pilot I mine. Like. Oh, that's fucking awesome! Um, Chris. Easily the highest kill count too. Yeah, easily the my favorite movie of uh, from my childhood is still my favorite movie of all time. Godzilla. It is not Godzilla, although I am a big Godzilla fan, as most people know. It is actually Godzilla's. It's actually someone that Godzilla just recently fought, and it's actually the two thousand five Peter Jackson's King Kong. Was that like oh what Jack Black the game off of? Yeah, right. Is that, are, are you talking yeah. about the old Jack, Jack Black? Black? Yeah, Jack Black played Carl. Oh Denner. my god, I, I remember own that movie. I watched I that movie. Know. I fucking knew everything about that movie behind the scenes. Mm. I knew how King Kong was made back when I didn't give a fuck about making movies. Did they? Dude, dude, what? the leeches, the leeches. Oh <laughs> yeah, they fucking disgusted me. Jesus. Yeah, this was I, the I'm one of the time. Was... Thank you. Okay. <laughs> This but, is uh, the one that the game was based off of, right? Yep, the official yeah. game of the movie, Peter Jackson's King Kong. I had it on GameCube. Um, yeah, and that game was fucking that. insane. I, I played that too, I think. Two bananas, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, two <laughs> bullets, I'm back. Up. One bullet, I'm back. Up. Oh, I'm dry! <laughs> You guys remember the Transformer video game for like the PlayStation Which 3? Which one? I still I have it. it. Okay. GameStop okay. won't buy it. 
Are you talking about the uh, the War for Cybertron? Nope, that's the sequel. Oh. There was one that that's was for the movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Dark of the Moon? No, it no. was called Transformers the it game. It was called Transformers, yeah. I oh. had it and I loved the transformation. That was fucking sick. That was dope. Except- I remember I remember I remember getting five stars GTA style basically, just having them fucking military. It was, it was good, me. honestly. I'm like they they could have built on that and you know, did good. Oh. Yeah. Um, what else was I gonna say? Yeah. Um, I think, no, I think I own this too. I own it because GameStop wouldn't buy it from me. Yeah, Sam. Basically, yeah, I own. I'm They're like, you think we're gonna I, fucking sell this? It's just the one life one, right? Where if you died, you had to restart the whole level. I yes. have no idea. Yeah, yes. I own this. Well, did it have that one mission with like the carriers too? I, I don't know. I don't. I don't think I got that far. <laughs> I was a kid. <laughs> I remember beating it because I was like 13 when I played it. Oh, I was I, like, no, I was oh, like, yeah. I also had um the refren- I also had Re- the Revenge of the Fallen game. Revenge I think that's the one yep. I was talking about. With the, I, with I had the, um... oh I know what you're talking about Revenge of the Fallen. Guess what? So I had the original game on GameCube. I had the fucking Revenge of the Fallen on the fucking PSP, and it was dog shit, dude. That was so oh, bad on the PSP. Yeah, no, but probably like my favorite out of the whole series were War for Cybertron and then Fall of Cybertron out of those and they were they were just done so well gamertron gamertron yeah but um God. obviously i'm a big oh, oh g1 transformers nerd and my probably my favorite random ass line from that movie is at the beginning when um the decepticons are invading autobot city and um there's the insecticon just like on the door and like a drawbridge which is the door and it, they're just eating the door and it's just mm, electrons jesus christ <laughs> I always hate right. the Transformers dialogue. It was so cringy. Here, here's a question. What's your guys' favorite memory with video games? All right, let's do a rapid round. First, Justin, so you didn't tell us your favorite movie. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, 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 surf's Up. <laughs> oh. I'm not oh even going to question. Oh, not even going to question. Not going to um, talk about that. All right, what was your question, <laughs> Jester? This will be the last question, then we're going to wrap up. Uh, favorite memory with video games? Oh, fuck. Um... If someone's got an answer, go for it. I'm thinking. Finally I'm beating my brother in Black Ops 2 for the first time. Nice. Uh, when my mom kicked my ass on... My, well, hey, I was speaking, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> when my mom kicked my ass on freaking uh, Guitar Hero. Um, oh, she, bought, she bought a shirt for me that said, my mom rocks, and I wore that with pride. <laughs> like your medals? <laughs> Back in the war. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I, I still wear my medals with pride. Yeah, speaking of playing with parents, I remember I played Modern Warfare. I think it was Modern Warfare 2 because I remember we played the map with uh, where Price um, launches the nuke out of the submarine in the snow. Yeah. It was that, yeah. and we were playing the survival one, and I and we died horribly because I had to explain like four times to my mom how to put down Claymores. <laughs> oh god, do you, do you remember the, the, the snowmobile uh, oh, that mission? Yeah. Dude, that was so cool, and that jump was so unrealistic. I agree, but it was you so fun. Floor it, that, floor it, cool it fucking it. falls. Floor <laughs> it just uh, drops off the cliff end. But, like, I just <laughs> vividly remember the opening first mission of Modern Warfare 3, because I played it right after the end of 2. And yeah. just, just going through, the like, the city under rubble, and you get out of, like, the fallen hump, out of, like, the turned-over Humvee. It's a and good transfer. Modern this. Warfare 3 had some of the best missions. Plain yeah. simple. Um, Alright, uh, real quick. So if I had to think of a memory. It's it, I, it's kind of a tie. Rock Band 2, I had my friend, his mother, my dad, and me all playing it together. That was so fucking fun. And then favorite memory while gaming is probably playing the zombies with my dad because we don't do that anymore. Um, oh, and I just remember... What? <laughs> He's not dead. I just moved out. <laughs> yeah, oh, he's, he's gay. What? What does what? that have to do with anything? <laughs> yeah. huh? Well, because, yeah, Jester's always, because Jester's looking for someone. That's why. Yeah. Well, too yeah, bad he's married exactly. and he's happy, and I love my stepdad. Fuck off. Jester's Damn married? It. No, my father. You dumbass. You fuck with my father. father. You're. I'm gonna fuck with you. You're gonna fuck me? Whoa. I, joke's on you. I will, no, I'm not gonna continue. Yeah, that that's why I thought the, <laughs> the theory is just their game. Do I really still wanna going. say do I really wanna say that I have a thing for minors on this podcast? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah,
I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. To admit it? No. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh... Jester shows up to his girlfriend's house. There's another man there with a pizza Uh, and a camera crew. POV, it's Chris Hansen. So, James already yelled at me about five minutes ago, but it is time for me to go streaming. But I just wanted to say... Okay, bye. (laughs) I just wanted to say uh, to everyone who's been watching the podcast, thank you so much for watching. Stop watching. That's if, it. If I'm not in don't ever episode, fucking don't watch, watch again. Guys. Don't ever watch no again. No way. Uh, yeah, it's never come back. Season two is not real. It's not coming. Season ever. two will be back pick. soon. We're gonna take a little break. Um, and if these fuckers would stop ignoring, uh, ignoring me, <laughs> <laughs> if these fuckers would stop interrupting me, I can get this little spiel done. Uh, fucking. Um, I just wanted to say thank you. Um, we really, I really appreciate it. Um, I have no idea how everyone else feels. <laughs> Uh, I feel that uh, we'll, we'll see you again in two years when we finally decide to pick up season two. <laughs> yeah, no, we're going to do episode one in like a month, and then we'll see you again in a year. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Camp in 2024. Yeah. <laughs> um, in a college bathroom. I wanted to give one more shout out to the uh, to the over 60-year-old who's watching our podcast. We really do appreciate you. Uh, we won't call you, Boomer. If you Love uh, you, Juby's wife. Uh, yep, everyone loves Juby's wife. Next no, year. a 60-year-old. <laughs> no, it is not a six year old. Older women? I, I mean, I am. Savannah is older than me. Ah, uh, you're into <laughs> those kind of chicks. Hey, they got more you're experience. Into that kind of anyway, thing, little, little anyway, it is stream time. Stop being mean to me. So, thank you all <laughs> so much for listening. Jester, I have one more question for you. Where the fuck did this medal with prides come from? Because I've actually been asked this. I don't know. <laughs> There's your answer to the long lost question. Thank it's you guys. just a fucking thing. We'll I still wear my medals of pride. And we'll see you guys on the next episode where we commit several war crimes in a country next to Yugoslavia. Usual- <laughs> usual- uh, is that the bonus episode of season one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Find us on Spotify yeah, yeah. next time with our Yugoslavia yeah, yeah, yeah. ASMR. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you all for a fantastic season one. And we'll see you for season two next time.